In this demonstration, we're going to install Red Hat OpenShift on Azure Cloud. I've transferred a DNS zone, ocpnow.com, to my Azure subscription so that I'll be able to build it within that environment and allow OCP and Azure to build all the plumbing necessary for public access. There are a few prerequisites that you have to keep in mind. One, you need the AZ CLI, the Azure CLI. So you can, uh, I'll leave a link for this in the description, but you can pull down that, um, that binary from, uh, uh, from this page based on your operating system. You're also going to need to log into cloud.redhat.com. This will give you the, your other tools. So log in there with your Red Hat credentials. Go to uh, Red Hat OpenShift Cluster Manager. Select Create Cluster. And we're going to create a cluster here. We're going to do the OpenShift Container Platform. Pick the uh, environment you want to install it on. We're going to do this on Azure. We're going to use the installer provision infrastructure method and it'll give us this page here. We have a couple of binaries to download. Uh, the first one is the OpenShift installer command and I've already done this but you'll download that here and then you have the OC command. This will allow us some additional features to access and interact with the OpenShift platform and then of course you definitely need to copy down your pool secret and this allows you to use your credentials to pull down the software packages that are necessary to build OCP. Finally, I'll leave this in the description as well as all the notes, uh, documentation from OpenShift Container Platform 4.5. Uh, and then, of course, there's additional information for installing on Azure and these other platforms as well. And we're going to go through some of these, but if you need additional configuration information, definitely check this page out. The first thing we need to do is create a role for our service principle. So I've copied all these commands just to make it easier on both of us. And so these are all in the documentation. Um, I will also put these four scripts uh, and any other scripts that are strings that I use uh, directly as I use them in the description as well. So you can just look at those and, uh, and copy it from there if you want. So I'm just going to grab this. We're going to make a service principal account. We'll just say OCP principal. And once this uh, creates this account assignment, then we'll grab that information. We're going to need this later on. So I'm going to copy that over here. There we go. And then I need to grab this app ID. Copy. And to paste it right here. Right here. And right here. Great. All right. So let's create our role. Let's assign our user access administrator role to that app ID. Okay. And then assign the permissions. Great. And then the grant. Great. So now our account is ready to go. Let me clear this page. Now I've created a directory, Blue Spear, right here, and there's nothing in there. And this is where our install files are going to be stored. So if we look here, we'll see that I've already got the OpenShift install binary, and we're going to run that right now. OpenShift. Now you could do create cluster and just accept all the defaults, but I'm going to take it one step further and just add it install step so you could take a look at it. And we're just going to say um, OpenShift install create install config, and then just point it to that directory equals blue spear. And I already have a public key on my Bastion host, so I'll reuse that one. We're installing this on Azure. Uh, my Azure subscription ID is right here. My tenant ID is right here. Service principal client ID is what we copied earlier. It's right there. And the secret right here. Copy that. And then it should tell us, okay, it's going to be installed in East US. Yes. Base domain, ocpnow.com. Yes. Cluster name, say Blue Spear. 
And then, of course, that pool secret. So let me grab that and paste that in right here. Hit enter. And there we go. So if we clear this, now we can go into that blue sphere directory and we'll have our install config YAML. And you can make modifications to this. So in this case, I have three workers that are going to be built. And then I have three managers or master nodes I'm going to be building. It defines uh, Blue Sphere as the cluster name, my networking. Again, all of this can be modified if I want. I can even change the different sizes of machines if I want to use those. I'm just going to accept the defaults here. The region that it's going to install in, and you can have multiple regions as well. And of course, the pool secret info and and my SSH key. Let's get out of that. Okay, so now that that's all done, we just need to go ahead and create the cluster. So here we'll say open shift, open shift. Oh wait, I gotta go back a directory. Now, open shift, install, create cluster. And then it's gonna use that install file in that directory. There we go. So now it's gonna go ahead and um, log in with those credentials that we uh, created for the OCP principal account and start the install process of actually building out the cluster. It's gonna take um, probably about 40, 45 minutes, depending on uh, how you've set it up. I've just accepted all the defaults, so I'm assuming it'll be about 45 minutes from now. Um, it looks like everything's started. It's gonna go ahead and start creating the infrastructure. So I will be back as soon as that process is done. Okay, so it's taking about 40 minutes to complete. Um, so let's grab this URL right here and we'll fire up a new page here and we'll just go to that website, uh, show details, uh, visit the site anyway. It's using um, self-signed certificates. So we're gonna get a couple little cert errors here. Visit the site anyway. There we go. So kube admin. Let's grab that password right here. Plug it in there. And this should take us to there we go. And let me shrink it. And we can see we have a uh, six node um, platform ready for provisioning our test environment. Uh, and any, uh, any workloads that we want to configure here. Um, one thing that's nice, it automatically installs a persistent storage uh, driver on uh, Azure as well using Azure Disk. So that's already been done and we're ready to go. We can start plugging in our AD and uh, get those credentials synchronized and start creating users and building workflows with uh, OpenShift. So that's installing OpenShift Container Platform on Azure Cloud.